When I was six or seven, I wanted to be a doctor. Then I wanted to be an airplane pilot at one time. Meanwhile, when I was really interested you know, in planes or being a doctor, I started cooking uh, in my house. Sometimes my mom wasn't really happy about that because I, I left the kitchen a mess. And uh, <laughs> I would say that the first person that influenced my life and pushed me to become a cook was actually my dad. concept of becoming a cook was not what fathers wanted their sons to, to, to be when they grow up, you know. They wanted them to be engineers, you know, I don't know, architects, uh, managers, etc. In this case, my father was able to help me and uh, he said, actually, hey, if you want to be a chef, uh, I support you and why don't you start looking for, you know, for a place to study. And well, after finishing college, I, I, th I really thought that cooking was easy at that time. Once again, my dad comes into place and he's the one who says, what, what are you gonna do when you, you know, uh, what, what are your plans, you know? Uh, I would like to open a restaurant, that's what I said. At that moment, I really wanted to open a restaurant without having any experience in the industry, almost. And uh, he said, no way, you know, no way. Uh, first of all, you don't have the money. Or, and uh, if you are asking me to help you with uh, opening the restaurant, definitely I'm, I'm gonna see you with the eyes of an investor and not with the eyes of my son, you know? because uh, you really have to gain experience and work in the industry for at least, you know, six to ten years. If you want to do also Japanese or you want to do Nikkei, which has a Japanese influence, uh, definitely you should go to Japan. I go to Japan and a very important person, I would say one of the mentors of my, of my career, was uh, Hirai-san. He taught me not only how to cook or how to make sushi, but he taught me something more important, which is uh, the way to manage your life, the way to manage your staff, and the way to, to, to understand cuisine. Sí, dame ese, dame uno más. Dame ese y dame ese acá. Dame esos dos, ya. Sí. Ya, 14, ¿no? Sí. 5 y 10. Right here we have the the kamu kamu. This is uh, the fruit with most vitamin C in the world. The Peruvian lime, it's very tender, it's very juicy, and this is what makes ceviche our flagship dish. You have a, a nice spoon of ceviche juice made with this lime. It's uh, mind-blowing, actually. This is what we call the tiger's milk, leche de tigre. If you're hungover, have a nice you know, a spoon of leche de tigre, and it gives you strength. If you look up, you don't know if you're in Asia, and you look down and you're in Peru. That is something that tells you, talking about Nikkei, that Japanese culture, it's very, very close to Peruvian culture. You, know? you can see it in the everyday life here, you know. We opened the restaurant in 2009. At the beginning, it was a more Japanese and Peruvian concept. Right now, we are totally Nikkei, actually. I believe that the evolution of Peruvian cuisine is just starting. I travel around the country, I always find new products. I always find new recipes. So I realize that I don't know anything yet, you know? There's so much to know and to learn that makes me very happy. Yeah.